This is going to be a really fast video on the new Marshall Major 2. Version 2 of the Marshall Major. Now the original Marshall Major I had. And it was um, a very tight clamp. Let's look at this headphone for a minute. And, uh, yeah, let's get rid of these things here. They're getting in my way. I said it was a very tight clamp and as far as I remember it was not a detachable cable and now only do they have a detachable cable this time that uh, goes into both sides so you can go into either side here I don't know if it daisy chains but uh, no concern of mine uh, the clamp is much less here but the base response is still there uh, the ear pads on here are amazingly soft now I've got some ear pads like this on some of my headphones like that uh, MEE HT21 that are, are pretty soft, but the way they sit on the ears are like uh, donuts and everything else, and they don't provide a really good seal until you have them on there for about five minutes or so. But this just goes on there, and it's just absolutely the perfect fit right away. Uh, the range of adjustment is uh, very wide. Uh, we can see that here. Um, go down here, so we've got that whole thing here for a range of adjustment which is great uh, this is not an expensive headphone I got it for about mm, less than seventy dollars I think on a discount and uh, the headband is um, kind of minimal uh, the, the pressure the headphone so light and the pressure so light that uh, the, the small amount of padding they have on the headband underneath is gonna be great it's uh, never gonna be a problem at all the cord is partly coiled but the total length uh, in use is about mm, about four and a half feet, I guess, and then it'll stretch out a little bit more. But the coil doesn't really add weight uh, because it's not a heavy cord, and yet at the same time the cord is uh, thick enough and very well made that I think it'd be extremely durable. And uh, the type of cord it is, uh, you could uh, you can. I'm certain I haven't tried this, but you can get one of those um, Belkin cords. You know, it's like three and a half millimeter on each end, and just plug it right in there and go. So uh, getting a substitute cable would be no problem at all. Uh, although this has uh, got some nice bling to it, and it has a great strain relief in the uh, the this uh, coiled uh, steel here, whatever it is, really terrific. And uh, it's made for smartphone use. And it has a uh, smartphone box on it. Uh, doesn't seem to have any volume controls or anything like that, but start stop works good. And I would guess if you push that twice, it'll go to the next track, and three times to the previous track. That's really a logic on a smartphone. The button just sends a signal. And um, I think these have very conventional drivers. Now, the sound, uh, getting to the sound, here is my. Um, EQ curve I did on it and I boosted the bass a little bit around 40 Hertz although you know from in most cases um, it's not gonna really make that much of a difference I mean when you're out there in portable use unless your bass is really super powerful uh, you're not gonna feel that bass anyway outdoors uh, portable use and uh, mid-range is perfect that's one way that they improved this actually over the uh, original Marshall major is that uh, the mid-range is so nice and clean and uh, the treble's a little bit uh, weak, or how would they say, some people say soft or recessed or whatever it is. But uh, those those uh, buttons are sitting up there around, uh, you got about a 10 decibel boost there. But anyway, uh, the whole thing is smooth enough that uh, whatever music player you have, I'm sure you could either boost the bass, treble, or both, and uh, come up with uh, uh, more hi-fi sound if that's what you're looking for. But uh, what I'm getting here is not only uh, improving the frequency response with an equalizer, but I'm getting just an exceptionally smooth sound that's very, very musical. And uh, like I said, because they improved the mid-range on this, uh, it just sounds a heck of a lot better than the original Marshall Major. So uh, I don't know what they got inside here, 40 millimeter drivers, whatever. I'm sure they're the standard Chinese made drivers that are used in probably virtually every headphone out there. But the way they implemented it is really good. And uh, this is really great. I, I would say for, uh, you know, there's a lot of headphones sell for cheap, uh, but this um, worth paying the extra for. 
get you uh, some, you might find it on a discount for in the high 60s or whatever, American dollars, uh, unless you pay full retail for it. But even then, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be hurt to pay $100 for this because it's a really nice headphone. And because the ear cups pull down pretty far, you can wear it around your neck when you're not listening and it won't get in your way. And uh, I've on, I read it, a lot of the Amazon reviews that had complaints about this, but uh, you know, I gotta tell you that uh, I don't see what they're talking about. I don't see anything that would come loose here. I think maybe those are carryovers from the old Marshall Major where uh, parts were fragile or coming off or something. I don't see any of that here. This looks really great. These, uh, uh, whatever they are, they slide up and down the uh, uh, gimbals here. Uh, it looks like it's pretty solid and the way it wraps around there, I don't see anything that's uh, breakable. So it looks like a really great headphone and uh, boy, I uh, highly recommend this. Thank you very much.